Hey everyone, it's Ann Manera and we're back again today for another volume 19 color belong. So today's page is a grayscale page and last week, I, or the other day, I had so much fun using these Duent Color Soft pencils that I've decided to use them again. So I, I really like how soft they are for this particular page. Of course, I have a piece of paper behind here. And this page is a lot of fun because these slices um, of either oranges, limes, or lemons is how I'm going to consider them. And I think this must be an apple here, uh, are dehydrated. So they're dried. So we're gonna just dive right in here and we're gonna start out with our orange color. So this one is called Bright Orange in this particular set. And I'm just gonna start out here with the rind of the orange on this particular one here. Now, when you're coloring grayscale, you wanna go in the direction of the object and of what you're coloring, and you want to color each individual item or object uh, individually because you don't want to just color it um, all together. So you want to make sure that you uh, pick out each item. So in this case, I've got the rind of this orange and a really soft colored pencil definitely helps. This is not a scratchy pencil, which is why I chose to use these again. And I'm going to start, start out, of course, with a nice light pressure because what I want to happen is I want the grays to show through. When you're done with the grayscale coloring page, what you want to see is the actual gray. You want to see that it's a grayscale page. Now, if you take a look at the rind here, that's already done. But here I'm moving on to the interior of this orange, and it's a lot darker. But if I use the same pressure on each of these individual sections of the, of the inside of the orange, not only will it still show the white, uh, what is that called? The rind? The pit. Is that called? the No, the pith. It's called the pith. That'll show, oh my goodness, can't even talk today. That'll still show the pith. I love that part of the orange, actually. <laughs> Anybody else like that part? So we're just gonna kind of give it just that, okay? Now I'm gonna take a little bit of white and I'm gonna go on top of this because what that's going to do is kind of tone down the color. It's not gonna really lighten it, but it will definitely kind of say, okay, well, you know, maybe it's a different color orange. This part right here, which is the pith, I am not gonna color that. So if something is extremely white, it's the white of the white, the whitest part of your coloring page, you don't necessarily have to color that. So I'm gonna vary these with lemons and limes, and of course this is an apple right here, but let's move on to this one next to it, the one on top of the orange, and we're going to make this one a lemon. And again, I've got that white part right there, the highlight of it, we're not going to touch that. I've got a medium pressure going here, the same pressure, medium, equal pressure. So I'm not varying the pressure, and I'm keeping it kind of at a, at a medium a medium uh, pressure going around if you can see how my pencil is moving in a circle not really circular but an arcing arching arcing motion I always have trouble with that word is it arching or arcing I think it's arcing a r c here the inside of the lemon again here and again these pencils are are so soft they're called they're called color soft by Duane and they're very very soft so I really love a nice soft colored pencil for a grayscale page. And again, we have the pith fits there and we're leaving that as is. So now we're gonna move on to the next one. I'm gonna turn this into the line. Now for this one, I'm not sure if I'm just gonna keep it with this particular color line green or if I'm going to move on with um, maybe adding some of this green. Maybe I will because we wanna darken it. So I'm just gonna come around here Gotta put those pencils down. They're so sharp they almost stabbed me. Come around here for the side and see how my pencil's going this way because you want it to go in the direction. So if you have something that's horizontal, you want to color it in the horizontal direction. If you have something that's vertical, you want to color it in the vertical direction and so on and circular and so on and so on. My friend Paisley is being a little bit of a chatterbox at my feet today. Did you forget your crayons today, Paisley? All right, so there's that, the inside of the line. Of course, I don't know about you, but now I have that song, you know, Lime in the Coconut. 
shake it all up going on in my head. Tell me you have to, tell me you don't have that, right? All right, so I'm going to make this one back here in orange also, and I've got this kind of rind there that's on the edge, but more importantly, and I don't want my pit my tip to be too pointy. As a matter of fact, I'd like it to be kind of like on a bevel type look. So a slanted look. So here's the inside of that orange. Now, the grays. We want the grays to shine through. You want to follow the lights and the darks um, of the actual grayscale page um, or the photograph that you're moving through. So there's that orange piece right there. And then I'm going to go leave this one as a lemon. So I'm just going to kind of alternate. So let's use this one as a lemon. So we've got the yellow there. Again, same pressure. I'm not very, I'm not going to go with the heavy pressure on any of these. However, when I'm done, it might look like it is. And this one kind of looks like part of the pith has a little bit of yellow, could have a little bit of yellow in it. And this is probably one of the simpler grace. This is a pretty simple grayscale page. I have um, several, several, several. I think there's like 25 or more grayscale coloring books available um, in on Amazon that I have uh, created and they're all $5.99. How about that? So if you are a grayscale colorist and you are looking for a cool grayscale coloring book, there is such a variety. All right, so there's my lemon. Or lemon, as some people say, right? Lemon. All right, we're going to go with uh, some orange next. I think the orange is the dominant fruit here. I don't know why. Why not? And then the top one I'll turn into a lime. So see how it's just really, uh, I mean, it's really coming to life now. And I mean, look at this, completely calling right over all of that part there. I went out of the lines a little bit. You can always erase it, don't worry. You can erase what you don't want. I don't know if I will. You know, I don't like to be like, I'm gonna take some of this green though and give it a little bit of something, something here. I don't like to be a little crazy, be too crazy when I'm uh, coloring. I color for enjoyment. I'm not in a competition. I'm not, I don't want to pressure myself. It's one of the few things in life. I'm sure there's other things too, but this is really something that you can do that you don't have to worry. Have I done a good job? Should I be doing a good job? Oh no, I made a mistake. I have to fix it. I don't really care. And I think I might give this pencil um, a sharpen. Here's the rind that's coming around at the top. You can kind of see a little bit of it. And then in here, you can hear Paisley barking in the background. Is that bothersome, by the way? Let me know in the comments if it is. I always uh, try so hard to not let them bark in the background. But, you know, color belongs. It's real life happening around me. It's not like I'm in a, like a, a padded studio. But I am going to go help her for a minute. All right, let me just help her. And I'll, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we so far we have all of this whole pile. And on this one here, I want to just kind of say, I want to go with the green again, I think. Don't you think? I'm going to go with that green because it's a good contrast. It's a good... Um, it's another good color for the particular for the next to the orange and then what this is sitting on is really just kind of some rocks and I really want this to just kind of pop so what I'm going to use for those rocks in the background or for the background area is maybe a variety of some browns I guess um, just to kind of get it to pop out now we've got here's this part here with this lime and you see how we've got that shadow there we are going to go back in with the shadow and or fill it in with the shadow and I'm going to fill in a little piece some little pieces with some black so let's move on with the red for the apple and this one is called just red now this particular 
skin. See how dry it is? We want to really, really uh, follow the nooks and crannies of this particular skin. There we go. And this could have been a green apple, I guess, right? But I wanted to go with red. Looks like it's a delicious apple, I guess. Not delicious in taste. I'm sure it is delicious in taste, but it's probably a delicious apple by the shape of it, I guess. Now the middle part, when you think about what's happening with the middle part of that apple, sure the, 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 the meat of the apple is a whiter color, but it's not really particularly white. It's more almost like a kind of a, well not really beige, but we're going to just use a little bit of brown here. This one is called dark, dark terracotta actually. And I'm using it on an angle so that it's like the, the side of the, of the lead. And especially around this area that has uh, the gray part right there. We're going to do a little bit of a heavier pressure. And then I'm gonna take some white and I'm gonna do the same thing on top of it because I want to kind of like change the color of the actual uh, terracotta color that I just used there. Now I'm gonna take this brown color, where is it? Brown bark, I believe it's called. Dark, dark brown. I don't know why I keep calling this brown bark, but this is dark brown. And I'm going to color the bottom section here, kind of on an angle, what it's sitting on with this brown color. And then I'm gonna go back in and add some blue, I think. Cause it's gonna look, we want this part here on the bottom of where everything is sitting to kind of look like granite. And I feel like when you look at granite, there's some, there is some blue. So we've got this color blue here, which is called blue. And again, I'm going to just kind of go on an angle a little bit, an angle of the pencil. I mean. And then here. And the back part I'm leaving uncolored because you can do that. Now I'm gonna take my black pencil, which has got a really, really, really good point on it. You can see that really good point. And I'm just going to kind of give it a little bit of uh, a touch of black in these areas here. I call this low lighting. And what it means is that you are adding a darker color underneath. So you're trying to make something dark from the underside. You're not outlining it, but you're adding a little bit of black. And I guess the best way um, to demonstrate or to describe or explain is to show you. So pay attention to what we're doing here. Let me know if this is a new technique for you or if this is something that you've been doing. Um, and you just kind of want to get like that unfinished line and by that, I mean kind of just like you could just kind of flick it or, or just a, a, weight, a line that has different weights. And here too, we want to kind of add a little bit of that black. Just to kind of get in the vein of it, in the vein of that, that uh, skin of this apple. And we don't want to outline it, like I said. So here's an example. A heavier pressure here, and as I come around, I'm going to do a lighter pressure here. So it's like I'm taking, the line weight is varying. Here, again, the line weight is going to vary as we get into different sections of the inside of this particular orange. So one of the things that grayscale coloring teaches you is to do this with line art. So if you... Um, can get used to the technique and you can practice along and you know it's like your brain is showing your hand what to do or your hand is showing your brain what to do or vice versa um because you're you're finding the darks and the lights and so the, when you're coloring something that's just line art you'll be able to understand that there's some shadows that, ha that are happening there so now we've got this this particular uh lime is, uh, I mean, sorry, lemon is underneath the lime, right? So we want to make sure that it looks like it's, it is. So think heavy bottom. Think black pants, white shirt. You know, 
you want to wear. It'll draw your eye down. It'll pull weight down. It's all about the rhythm that is created as you add the actual colors, add the, the dark and the light. And I'm just kind of like placing some color within there. Now, here we are with this particular uh, lemon on top of the line. And again, we're popping that in there. Just that darker color here. Here's kind of like the dark corner going on. And what this black is doing is it's really kind of making it pop. I mean, I guess you could probably do this with brown, with a really dark brown if you didn't have a good black. But most color pencil sets do have um, a nice uh, set of black, don't you think? I mean, a nice black pencil, a nice set of black. That would be interesting. A whole set of black colored pencils. I wonder if there is such a thing. I don't think I've ever seen that. Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen that. Very in, um, I don't want to say shades of black, but, you know, blackness of black or darkness of black. Maybe there is something like that. I would love to have my own set of colored pencils that, you know, like I had my name on them and were my favorite colors. So here we are with just, see those little, I don't know if you can see them on camera, but there's little teeny tiny spots in there. So if you're interested in any of the pages that I'm coloring from any of my color alongs for, uh, for this book, uh, the book is available, the description and the link is in the, I'm sorry, the link to the book is in the description of this video. And uh, these color alongs meet every uh, Monday and Thursday at 10 a.m. right here on my YouTube channel. 10 a.m. Eastern is when they post. I gotta be honest, sometimes I do kind of publish them a little bit earlier um, so I can get them shared out, but that's that's the cutoff. That's my cutoff, so no sleeping late is what it boils down to. And let me see if I just want to add a little bit of this brown um around my orange color maybe just a little bit right here just kind of add a little bit of this terracotta just to kind of vary this orange here here where it's the darkest of the dark on the particular oranges now on this orange is where i added that white and i'm not going to continue that with the rest but um and i want to make sure that i have um a little bit of this darker this is uh, just called green. I wanna make sure I have a little bit of that. So it really looks lime. And again, I've left the pith of each item uncolored because I want that to be the white of the white. The white of the white and the black of the black. Sounds like it should be a song. And that's it. That's all we're going to do to this page. Um, so I hope that uh, if you have any questions, you could leave them in the comments. I'm, I always answer the comments. And once again, thanks so much for joining me for another color along. Have a great day.